Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So today's video is going to be my weekly decoration using the new Planner Bay box, which the theme is favorites. So if you wanna see how this one all came together and how I got these gorgeous stamping effects, then just stay tuned. All right, so what I'm gonna start off with is my flipper and we're gonna be using a different technique again this week. Feels like I keep using new techniques. Um, so after I unboxed this gorgeous one, I asked what I was supposed to do with this napkin. And what a lot of people told me is it's it's kind of like a transfery thing. Um, what I thought I would do is actually try it. There are two different ways that I found on YouTube to do this. Um, one is using a um, using an iron and some some adhesive, not adhesive, some cling wrap to make it stick. The other way is using a glue stick. And honestly, not that I haven't got an iron and couldn't do it, but it just seems like an awful lot of hard work. So I'm just gonna try the glue stick method first. And if it doesn't work, then we'll look at doing it a different way. But I really love the way this sort of flamingo looks. So I wanted to try this and see if it worked. So we're gonna use just a piece of off cut of um, cardboard that I've got. I'm just going to sort of measure out where I want my flamingo to sort of be and then I'm going to try and cut him. No I'm not. I'll cut it square afterwards. We'll put him on there first and then we'll work it out. So what I know you need to do is you need to put, you need to take off um, the second ply. So a lot of napkins come with either two or three ply. You've got to really gently tear that away so that you're just left with one ply of your napkin. I'm just being really gentle there. And then you're left with this really sort of thin, thin bit with this gorgeous flamingo. And then you need to absolutely smother the crap out of this in glue. So I'm just gonna start off with just cutting roughly how much I need height wise, just so that I don't smother the whole thing in glue. Can always cut off the excess so I'm not worried about that and I'm definitely going to cut this thinner but just for now we'll leave it this like this so I'm just going to grab a glue stick this is just a like a plain old school glue stick I have so many glue sticks that I never use so this is like a first I don't think I've ever used a glue stick on my channel before so I'm just going to completely smother this with glue and that's why I've got a piece of scrap paper down so that if I go over the edges because you kind of want to go over the edges so that you get the edges covered and um, that I don't get my desk all dirty. I've got a bunch of glue on there. Oh, I hope this works otherwise I look very silly. And then I'm just going to grab another bit. And we'll put the flamingo down so you want it to be the side you want up, down, side you want down put this on here and then just smooth it out so not worrying too much about where it is just because I'm going to trim it anyway it's got some nice texture to it um, so I'm going to leave that for a little while to dry so I'm going to put it off to the side while I do some of my other bits and pieces because um, we're going to do some stamping this week again which is going to take a while it's just so that that way that flattens out so I'm just going to put it over I'm going to this sort of fold that over. I'm just going to put it underneath my planner because it's the heaviest thing on my desk so that'll solve that. And then while we're doing that we're going to go ahead and on the tops of both of these so rather than using the washi tape that comes with this I'm going to use the stamps. I'm just going to move this over. So we've got a little packet of stamps. Where they go? The problem is that because they're so small they get lost. Um, so as you can see I've already been playing with some of these uh, but they are very very small stamps. But there's a watermelon, uh, and a citrus fruit and a pineapple that I just think look really really cute. So I'm going to stamp them all along the tops of both sides. So to do that I'm going to mask off um, the other part so that it doesn't, I don't accidentally get it where I don't want it. So I'm just grabbing this tape from Officeworks. This like, is a really cheap washi but it's a fantastic washi because it doesn't stick. 
um, like it's not overly sticky so it's not going to damage my page when I pull it up. I've been using this so much lately. I think I bought it on clearance at Officeworks and it just it does such a wonderful job of coming up when I need it to. So I'll just do one page at a time and rather than using ink I'm going to use my Tombows. So I'm just going to grab my little watermelon. We'll start off with him and I'll show you how I colour it in and how we sort of stamp a couple down and then I'll go ahead and do the fast bits. So I'm just grabbing two, actually I'm actually going to grab three, three Tombows. So we've got the pink that's going to be the actual watermelon and then I'm going to use the green and then the dark green to just give it a bit of texture. So you put the watermelon, you just colour it in, it's so so simple. I love these Tombows because of this. So I put a fair amount on there just so that it gets a really nice coverage. And then using the green, this is the lighter of the two greens, I'm just colouring all around the outside. Just making sure I've got a fair amount of pigment on there. And then with the darker one, just like a watermelon, I'm just giving it some stripes. And it seems like a really weird thing, but when I stamp this down in a set, you'll see what I mean, because it's so worth it. It looks amazing. So I'm going to deliberately go off the page and down onto the washi with, a, some, of, with some of these. But just for this first one, I'm going to try and get it right in the corner. I'm just going to stamp her down. And then hopefully, I'll do a zoom so you guys can see that. Um, but the texture of it looks really, really cute and it's just, it looks like a watermelon should. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue on do a bunch of the watermelon, some of the pineapples and some of the um, citrus ones. I'm going to do them as lemons, limes and oranges. So there's going to be a couple of different colours in here and I'll be back in just a sec. thought I'd show you what it looks like and then I'll super like cut the next bit out because it's going to take a long time. So I've deliberately sort of mashed these up trying not to put too many colours that are the same close to each other. I love the pineapple and the watermelon they're just so cute. And then I'm just going to really gently pull this washi off and it's going to make a liar out of me right now because it's sticky and it hasn't done that before. Freaking hell, this is not good. Alright. No, I don't care if you rip down there, but do not rip my freaking stamps. Alright. So I can fix the bit that it's torn, so that's okay. So I'm just pulling that really gently. And at least it's gonna leave a clean line. I did go straight over the April, I didn't mind so much about that. But I think that looks so super cute, except for the tear lines. So I'm going to go ahead and do that super fast on the other side. And I'm also going to do it down the bottom of both pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really fast and I'll be back in just a sec. All right, so all of my stamps are down. And what I also did while I was, um, while I had everything speeding through is I grabbed hold of the piece of cardboard. I've written all my footy details on the back. Um, and I also punched it out just using my tab punch board. Um, all I did was just cut it with the trimmer just be a little careful when you do do the edges just because you can tear um, can tear the napkin just a little bit but it, it did come out reasonably well um, I'm just gonna punch the holes in here and just being very careful because I'm very close to the edge sometimes so I'm just making sure that's still gonna fit which it is so it's fine um, so just punching out the holes nothing too exciting here either um, I have got a little bit more space down the bottom here than I thought I would, which is 
isn't a bad thing. It's just going to mean I've got a bit of space there to be able to put some more information if I need to. So then we're going to get on to a bit more of my actual planning. So I'm just going to move my Tombos out of the way because they're right in front of my little drawers. So I'm going to grab my stickers that Sabine sent me with my planes because I'm going to the Gold Coast on today. I'm going to the Gold Coast today. Um, and I'm going to the netball. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to put the two plain ones on first. It's actually a really good contrast between how bright the stamps are and how just plain they are. So I'm just going to write them in, write those details in. I'm just going to use black just to sort of stay with the, the sort of theme here. So I'm just going to write this in. So those two little bits can go in the bin. And I've got, I'm actually going to the Com Games on Monday. And I want to put, I, I want to put that in more than just a, more than just a plain kind of thing. So I'm grabbing, have a look at these stickers. Not, like I don't hate these, but I'm not the biggest fan of gloss stickers. I just, I just don't like glossy stickers it's just me but I'm gonna try and get over that a little bit because I do want to use some of these so I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this one first these stickers are gorgeous are absolutely gorgeous they're just unfortunately gloss not matte which I just don't like but see if the, the combination works so I'll put that one there and then we're gonna use this blue hibiscus just here. I'm also very excited about the netball, which is another reason why I'm putting a bunch of exclamation points there. And then I'm also going to use this one, just this one here. I'm going to put this on Wednesday just because it's my cousin's birthday. So I'm just going to use this to signify that. So I'm just going to put that there. And it's also Ryan's granddad's birthday on Monday, so we'll do the same thing up there. And then I'm going to grab a bunch of stickers that I've got here from Lime and Mortar. And I'm just going to make sure I get my gym ones. And I bought some new ones with day off stickers. I'm going to use the colourful ones. I did also buy black and white ones, um, but I'm going to use the colourful ones this time. day off on the two days that I have off. Just trying to mark that right at the top there. Um, I'm not quite sure yet what day I'm going to the gym, so I'll leave that one out, but I will put my scales in, which I'm just trying to find. I put them here somewhere. I bought a new set of scales ones as well, and I don't want to use the new ones until I've used up all the old ones. Let's put that on Wednesday as well. I might just say that looks very boring at the bottom, but I'll find something to put there in just a sec. Actually, let's have a look what I've got here. I actually really want to use that sticker, so I'm just going to open this up without stabbing myself, preferably. Not sure even what kind of stickers these are. We're about to find out. They look like they're going to be clear ones, which I kind of... Oh, no, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm going to use these gorgeous ones of the flowers. Oh no, they are clear. I'm just going to put that in the middle. And that way I can kind of use this little section down here for a bit more of a to-do later in the week. I am also just going to chuck in another one of these pineapples just to continue the theme. And then we need to put in just the work details. I'm just trying to think of how I'm going to do that this week. Um, I don't want to just write work. I just feel like that's too easy. So we're going to use this green one here. It's got my little drop down arrow. I'm just going to test something on one of these other ones. So I'm just grabbing uh, my Sharpie 
you just want to sort of, I'm just doing it on the plastic just to sort of see if it rubs and it doesn't. Awesome. So I'm just going to write work on here. I'm also just flicking back over to the other side, just going to do to do on the top there. I'm just going to use just the black pen just to sort of go around the outside of this just so it's got some black to it as well. Just make it into a box. chuck in this leaf on the side as well just to bring that together okay and then we'll do something similar for the Sunday as well think about what day that was then we'll use the yellow and I'm deliberately going to put it just off where the other box was but then do the same thing put the square around it. That's that, that and that. Just put work in here. I'm going to leave the bits and pieces exactly the way it is just so that way I can put whatever I want in there this week. I will probably end up drawing another box in that will have my um, expected mail actually. I'll just put it in while I'm here and all. So I'll put it down the side here. So I have my little box there for my expected mail as well. I actually really like the way those boxes sit. I don't know what it is about them, but they just look really, really cute. So that is it for this week. It is very bright. It has taken me a really long time to do, but I will say that I think that top is so much better than anything I could have done with washi tape. I love the effect. I love using these pens for that, like for stamps. I, I, I don't know who mentioned it. Oh, I just realized I forgot to put my flamingo back on. Um, someone had mentioned it in one of the videos I'd done with my Tombos that you could use them for stamps. And ever since I've been using them everywhere, I love the effects you can make, especially with that watermelon. Like you couldn't do that with an ink pad. There's just absolutely no way. So to be able to do it, I just think gives gives everything a little bit of dimension. I will say I've ended up with a lot of ink all over my fingers, but like I said, I think it was worth it. Uh, let me know what you think. Was it worth all the pain and suffering of getting them in? I just I just think it looked fantastic. So I'm very, very happy with it. I also really like my flamingo. I think it, it just adds that pop um, that maybe it could have been missing. Sorry, I've got dog hair everywhere. Um, but like, I, I, I really like this week. I think it's come together really well. So that's my week using the latest Planner Bay box. Don't forget to go and check out the unboxing if you haven't already seen it. Don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. Let me know what you might have done differently. You can leave that down below uh, or on any of my social medias. Let me know what other new techniques you'd like to see me try. I'm always happy to try something even if I fail. Um, so let me know down below what you'd like to see. Other than that, I hope you guys have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you again really, really soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.